Laura, welcome back. We're here to do your update for August 2022. Yes, we have additional content that is hosted via my website. The link is directly below. And we also cover Twin Flame Path week by week, masculine, feminine, and karmic, as well as a live event that does cover the joint connection if you want to join us. Now, we're going to get into your read. How I'm forming these reads this month is your overall psychic energy and whatever comes through message wise and then we're looking at love career wealth and health okay as added bonuses now your your energy you guys are using a lot of energy let me put it that way you could feel a little bit burnt out and i kind of feel there can be some memories coming back and and it's really funny you're probably the first sign so far that it's been quite dominant in the area of love but i do feel it relates to various areas as well and it's um you, you're kind of realizing that you want so much more you're realizing the benchmark could be swinging babes okay so it's kind of going up and then it's going down but it does feel where in your life you had maybe been hard done by or treated poorly a lot of that at a deeply reflective level can be coming up and yes it can be causing paranoia um, but it can be something that is mulling over in your mind. This can be past romantic interests, past friendship groups, past career settings. It just feels that you really want to make your destiny happen. In it. And there can be some element of frustration moving into the first, I would say, half of the month. I do feel emotionally you guys can feel a little bit frustrated. I do feel any insecurities that you're having, they are going to pass. I do feel many of you are maybe recovering from the previous moon, I believe, but I do feel your image and the way you see things, um, both internally and externally, I think I think you're kind of noticing you do have options, but you're kind of weighing the scales at the moment and you're a little bit undecided. For those of you that are being super busy and productive, I do feel there can be um, an old wound that's coming up and it can be making you feel, gee, I can't be in 20 places at once, you know, is it okay if I... Um, operating at this level and there can be some sense of guilt that you can't do everything at once but I do feel you're actually underestimating yourself so what we're moving away from at the moment again it's this nostalgia I told you it's about love you know we're, we're kind of looking at the element of love and you know filling your cup and your side their side how everything in the mix happened your money their money um you know in life and it doesn't have to be that you're currently in a relationship it can be with your contracts and your friendship groups I feel you guys are being really hard on yourself and you could be really bogged down at the moment with wellness or life circumstances but it just feels really heavy. And I feel sometimes we can nostalgically look back and really count our blessings of the people that we met maybe and be missing loved ones that have passed over. But I feel from an abundant point of view, you're sort of going to the past and you're, you're grabbing some really um, in, in, important information that is going to aid you moving forward. It can be an old idea coming back on the table. It also can be love from the past coming back in. But I also feel your benchmark has kind of risen. So you're kind of in that wondering. Um, but, but I do feel you still, like, nevertheless, you do have a connection to the situation. I feel you kind of changed the way you deal with it. Um, this could be, a, like I said, you've changed the way you deal with your, your wellness, your diet, your love life, um, patterns with people. It just feels you've completely changed and some things you just completely got over. So some of you could be um, questioning in your life at the moment, look, am I on the right path? Am I doing the right thing? Is everything in alignment here? And it can be that you are extremely fatigued. There can be a nervousness that I feel some of you are actually um, trying to work through. I do feel you really want your life back on track. Um, you could feel, um, how would I explain it? I feel in a sense, purpose is deeply important. And I feel that's really what you're questioning at the moment, Libra. I feel you're questioning your purpose. So I feel you're questioning, okay, where to from here? Um, yeah, it could feel a little bit like, okay, I'm going to, you know, throw the baby out with the bathwater, but I feel there's a method to the madness and that's what they're making reference to. There is going to be a method to the madness. So, um, there, you know, there is a season for every reason, but I don't feel it's permanent. So if there is this tedious energy that comes out, I kind of feel it's going to pass. But I do feel that you're going to have to really pace yourself and take time during the month to have breaks, otherwise you can actually get burnt out. 
Um, some of you, I'm hearing the term less is more, and I don't know what that means, um, but it's going to mean something cryptic to you. Less is more. It could be that you're overburdening yourself. It could be that you're putting too much on your schedule and you're reworking it and looking at what is working best for you. Um, but I also feel you're grateful for whatever you have. I feel that you're looking at your life and less is more. That's kind of what it, what is coming through to me. It's like keeping it simple. Um, I know that a fellow Patreon said something to me, keep it simple, stupid. <laughs> and not that I'm saying that that's what, you know, you're thinking, but it's like just keeping it simple. Sometimes simplicity um, is often the best. And I feel you're trying to keep your life really simple. I do feel we maybe you distance yourself from people. You're going to have a lot of activity. You can have a lot more um, interaction at work. You can have a lot more interaction with friendship groups. You could be a little bit wary of it, particularly because of the past of people maybe taking advantage of you, not appreciating you. But I do feel there's also friendships from the past that are coming back. And being open to it can be a very positive thing, especially on a deep level of healing. I do feel um, some people aren't directly understanding how much crap, metaphorically, you have on your plate. Um, we do have at the heart of the read, you know, there's these things that you're carrying and um, it could be that you're being harder on yourself than others are actually being on you. Uh, but at the heart of it, I do feel, you know, you do have a lot going on. Now, I, I do feel some sense of wealth is going to come up for you. And it was really funny because when I was channeling your energy and I was also looking at your cards, I was like, that's really interesting because it's sort of like you think something is going to turn out, but I feel it actually is. It's probably going to turn out better than you expected. I do feel you're going to be pulled between two directions this month, Libra, and it can be quite challenging, maybe even more, but it does feel you're pulled between um, work and home and it, it kind of feels the splitting where you're trying to kind of balance like a circus act everything that's going on some of you for those that have children can have things happening around your children but I do feel this can be brand new beginnings and ending of one chapter a brand new beginning in another and I do feel around that time you could particularly be going into the inner child but it could be really exciting at the same time and I do feel some of you it's almost like a weight off your shoulders and it's really relieving to you, but you could be a little bit wary on how you're going to deal with that circumstance. But again, I do feel it's actually going to turn out better than you think. Okay, if somebody isn't having a give and take, I also feel some money's coming back to you. Um, and you could be really putting your foot down. Um, you could be kind of white, I'm hearing, weighing the scales, you know, looking at the scales and going, okay, is this, is this viable? Is this workable? And I think that whatever whatever hardship you experience is coming back tenfold in a positive way. So it can be potluck coming for you. And I also feel it's, they're saying to me, um, there's nowhere but up. So whatever is happening, it's, it's going to get better. Okay. So they're showing me it's got whatever you're applying your energy to, that can be in a sense of your career, which will channel that at the moment, your career, your love life. It's like whatever effort you're putting in, you're going to reap the rewards. They're also saying that you have deep instincts here. You need to be very instinctual that, yes, and this came through with Aquarius, there is a difference between instincts and paranoia, okay? Fair-based frequency based on previous assumptions. I feel more when you're grounded, your instincts are going to be completely on point and you need to trust it. I do feel somebody's thinking on you, okay? Um... More than likely, this is coming in because I'm just about to move into the area of love for you. I feel around the moon, there could be a change. You do need to be grounded around that time, which is a full moon. It's going to be in the house of Aquarius. What I'm seeing is directly after this moon or before, there appears to be a change in the romantic sector. They're making reference to it. This can this can be a brand new beginning. I feel this person actually is coming through. Some of you can be saying, look, I just want boring. Um, and what do I mean by that? I, I feel it's you want something that is um, something that feels nurturing, something that feels loving, something that stimulates the um, intellect. 
somebody that directly appreciates you. Those of you that are coupled, you could be seeing this person as this. You can actually be seeing them as a very gentle, loving individual. Some of you are going to be having either changes happening in your love life or changes happening in your um, career slash wealth sector. So it really depends 50-50, but many of you, I feel you're going to get both, okay? So I do sense initially it's like that kind of detox flush out and then rebirth. And I do see this rebirth happening. I do feel there's a person that loves you dearly. I also feel there's a male energy on the other side that is um, coming through in a very loving sense saying, calm down, it's going to be fine. We've got your back. Um, they're also making reference that they're deeply proud of you for all the um, endurance, all the um, people's backs that you've had. Um, they're in gratitude of that. Yes, and they're very old-fashioned. This individual is very old-fashioned, and this will only be for a pocket group of you, but take it where it lands. But I'm, I'm seeing the gentleman on the card holding a cup. Um, they're saying be gentle with your heart, but they're also saying, you know, you teach people how to love. Good old liberal, right? So, that, yeah, they're saying that you teach people how to love, you teach, you teach people how to share, Try to not lose that. They, they don't want you to lose that innocence in you just because of past circumstances. They don't want you to quit on believing. And they're saying, don't worry, everything will be fine. Um, because they, they're kind of bringing something down for you. They, they, they're giving you something to help you go to that next step. I don't know what they mean in layman's terms of this, but I do feel this person is actually protecting you for the transition over. Um, this is a really interesting message. I may pull a clarifier. I'm seeing that in reference to your love interest, your heart's desires. This is either a person that you've got your eye on, could be for some a person you're with, They, they could be similar in nature in some way. Cards are getting stuck. Yeah. They're saying you're worrying too much. They're saying that any past tense belief systems they had, it's very different now. And that might have been if you were going to reconcile with this person and they were like, oh, you know. I, I do feel overall they do say that in you know they want you to be happy and they don't feel that anymore they see that this person has done a lot of work on themselves um and they're actually helping that situation okay they're actually surrounding it now at the moment around your career you're thinking you curse calm down Libra. it's going to be fine you're working hard you've got a lot on your plate you're feeling you know when's my happy day coming when is my lucky day am i cheated out of this circumstance and you know put all the work in is it you're trying to some of you could be restructuring you know because there's the that's why right so the emotion is coming up due to the work you're putting in but the re the rewards will come but you're thinking in first you need to um trust the process everything happens for a reason okay because i do think something is actually working out better than you thought it is a brand new beginning be open be open they're saying that you're closing yourself off to surprises be open to it they're making reference to a time frame it might have been three years money wise you are focusing hard but there could be wealth that comes in suddenly with that announcement it's it's through your commitment it's through your commitment your efforts your work Okay, some of you are using an adverse situation to get your body back. This is really interesting. So somebody's your muse, Libra, and I feel that you guys are making a decision in the month of August that you want to get your you want to get your beauty back, you want to get your heart back, you want to get your balance back. Some of you might have been run down and unwell. I feel from a chakra point of view, try to balance both your crown chakra um, and your heart chakra, but do it prior to the moon in Aquarius, okay? Um Nearing the moon in Aquarius, I more than likely do your solar plexus um, because I do feel some emotions. You're going to be really creative, but don't push around that time. Give it a couple of days either side. You know, try to be organized before you lead up to it. 
add lemon juice or something to that degree, chamomile tea to soothe the nerves and, and just be open for those new beginnings to come through. But I feel ultimately it does feel this month, Libra, you're setting your intentions and you're like, right, I've got done on it. I've got to get my vibration back. I need to get life on a high vibe. I want to have things that are blissful for me. There can be a person coming back from the past for some of you that are single. I also feel that your guides, there could be two roads, but you're going to have, you know, you, you're going to be very selective. You're going to be very cautious because I do feel you have had a lot of heartache but I'm separately seeing that there could be somebody that hurts you that you are going to be using as a muse and you are going to get a hot body baby. Take care. I will see you during the month. If you do want to see extra content, jump through onto the website. We have a twin flame path as well as the star signs. Very separately, we have twin flame updates online at Yulda Spreadings 5D on YouTube. Take care, beautifuls.